we can go ahead and get started. Our first question is from Rock Kubako. Hey, Brandon, have you talked to Charlie or had any kind of communication with him at all since the bench is emptied yesterday, or is that something where you just kind of drop and move on? No, I haven't talked to him. No, it's those things happen during competitive games, and today's a new day. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Hey, Brandon, you know, fans always think that there's a great carryover between games because after a tough loss like yesterday, they'll figure that, you know, teams will be down in the dumps and they'll have to get over it. But how is it? How is it that it's not like that, that, that teams can turn the page so quickly? Well, I think in our sport, you know, you play every day. And so there's it really does depend on the next day starting pitcher does does really factor in. Um, you know, this team's had a bunch of tough losses the last few years. So we've all, you know, one thing we've done is usually responded fairly well and give our guys a lot of credit for that. Um, it was a tough loss yesterday. There's no doubt about it, and, but I don't sense any um, frustration or uh, I think guys have turned the page pretty well in our clubhouse. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, looking back, do you think the back-to-back -back appearances for all four bullpen guys yesterday played any role in, in how the game ended up going? Uh, no. I think you got to be able to pitch back-to-back -to, -back to be a reliever in the big leagues. And, um, you know, that was Hunter's first time this year. That's something he's going to do again. Tanner Scott's done it a bunch. Paul Fry's done it a bunch. So, no, I didn't think that that was, that was a factor. You, we just played Cleveland. Those guys went three days in a row. They're back end of the bullpen. Same thing in Chicago, same thing in D.C. We face those guys. So that's part of being a, a back-end bullpen reliever is to be able to be durable and you got to be able to pitch back-to-back -back days. And as a follow-up, is there anything physical or, or, or is it matchup-wise keeping you away from Valdez and to some extent Plutko? No, it was just matchup-wise. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Brandon, going off that, that's the second time in three outings that Paul has had some command issues. Do you have any concerns with him? Everybody's going to have, every pitcher's going to have tough times during the season. And it's, it's a six-month season. You're going to have good times. You're going to have some times where you maybe not be your best. Um, Paul has been unbelievable for us this season and had a great year last year, too. And the last few times, maybe the command hasn't been quite what he's, um, what he has been when he's when times are when he's going really well, um, we have confidence that he's going to get back and he's going to get. When next time he's available, he's going to. We're in a big spot. He's going to be back out on the mound. Melanie Newman, go ahead. Brandon, happy Father's Day. Um, you got to be home for this last year, so being here this year, does that bring any reflection for you? No, oh, yeah. Well, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I, um, it's uh, nice to my, my family flew in last night. So to have my my son, Colton, my daughter, Ari, uh, Addison and, and Aria uh, away at college at Syracuse right now. It's um, it's nice to be with them and have my family here. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, I'm going to enjoy a, an evening with them on Father's Day, which is which is always special. And uh, the way we travel and how much we're away from home uh, to have to have your family with you, with us um, is very, very important. And, and uh, so it means a lot to have them here today. Last question is from John Mioli. Brandon, Trey had the two doubles in Cleveland, but the power hasn't necessarily been there in recent weeks. What do you what do you chalk that up to with him? I think it's the same thing I was just talking about pitching wise. I think that you're, you're, it's, it's not the NFL. It's, you're not playing once a week. You're playing every day for, for six months. And there's going to be times where you're going well, and there's going to be times where things qu aren't quiet. I mean, he just, he's just mi mis hit a couple balls to center that was, um, you know, the last two days that uh, could easily have been, been home runs. It was just really good swings. It just, Barely missed them on, on fly balls to the warning track. So he's taking good at bats. Uh, not worried about Trey or his power. 
All right, that is all the questions we have. Thanks so much for joining us, Brandon. All right, thanks.